Hey, what's going on Cougars? I'm Joshua and welcome to This Week at Creek. A week-long opportunity for juniors to study local and state government, establish their own mythical state. One boy and one girl will be selected to represent Cy Creek High School. Interested students will need to pick up and submit an application to the 1040 Counselor's Office by February 15th. Please see Mrs. McMullen and Ms. Leggio for any questions. Our FFA chapter is doing a canned food drive for the 2019 Livestock Show. Anyone from around the school can donate. Please help out our FFA by donating today. Bring the items to room 1752 or 1756 by February 1st. Welcome back to CC Sports. I'm your host, Elvis, and I'll take you around CC Sports for today. <laughs> Our boys varsity basketball team won their Friday game against Stratford with a score of 81 to 66. This Friday our boys varsity basketball team will go against Springwoods at 7 p.m. This will be a home game for us so be there and support our Cougars. Our varsity girls basketball team won their Friday game against Stratford with a score of 68 to 37. This Friday our girls varsity basketball team will go against the Springwoods Tigers at 7 p.m. This will be an away game for us so be there and support our Lady Cougars. This Friday, our boys' varsity soccer team will go up against Stratford at 7.30 p.m. This will be an away game for us, so be there and support our Cougars. This Friday, our girls' soccer varsity team will go up against Stratford at 7.30 p.m. This will be a home game for us, so be there and support our Lady Cougars. Well, that's all the time we got for today, and thank you for your time. Until next time, see ya! Attention juniors and seniors, if you are eligible to pass fail one of your courses, the deadline to return paperwork with all signatures is Friday, February 1st at 2.40 p.m. to the counseling office. Please see your teacher or counselor for a list of pass fail options. Now, if you don't mind me asking, do you ever feel normal? <laughs> well, Chuck, that depends, you know. <laughs> You know, I mean, I knew I wasn't normal from a very young age. You know, I started my first day of school in kindergarten, and I had to deal with being called a monster. Kids didn't clear me during recess hours. I've had this voice since I was five years old. As I got older and entered high school, I found people who made me feel like I was normal. It made me feel like I was a part of something. I'm not alone, but somehow I feel incomplete. I want to know what it feels like to be a normal kid. The condition that this child suffers from is called sensory, where the patient suffers from several micropixels surrounding the person's face. Local course that can be compared to a mature lion. We in the medical field don't necessarily know the true cause of this condition, but we can only assume it's hereditary. It can't be corrected, it's just... Alright, so I just left the doctor's office and get my surgery tomorrow. Ooh, I'm gonna look good. Okay. Well took all day, but we finally done it. Sir, say hello to your new you. Bro! Just blur me out. I appreciate you. That's all for now, Cougars. Have a great weekend, and we will see you next week.